Hello everybody, this is TT95 here, and welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. Zoe, you're awake. What? Oh, wonkers, get off me! Oh, what time is it? Wait, where... where am I? You're in the hospital, Zoe. In Casablanca. Don't you remember? I... no. You got really sick, and they brought you here to make you better. I've been watching over you. You've been in a coma. For a long, long time. I'm... I'm not sure. I'm confused. You just woke up, Zoe. It must be strange to be awake again. Don't worry. It'll pass. You just need to rest. Go back to sleep now. I'll watch over you. Wonkers. You don't sound like yourself. You've been very sick, Zoe. You can't trust yourself right now. Just close your eyes and go back to sleep. You'll feel much better afterwards. No. No, I... I can't sleep anymore. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back to sleep. I need no, to get up. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back Stop to sleep. Stop it, Wonkers! No, this isn't really me anymore. No. No, this isn't really me anymore. So, can I not, like, get dressed or, or, or what, dude? It's locked. Why on earth would they lock a hospital room? That feels... unsafe. Thanks for joining us. Things are just... Locked. All that beach and sunshine and I'm locked inside. It's a card from Karen. Our fifth anniversary. Reza and I took the backtracks to Norway and a hydrofoil to Svalbard. We spent a long weekend traveling around the island. Over 200 unread posts. So I was more popular in a coma than when I was awake. Encouraging. Those vitals aren't too bad. Are you tired, Zoe? You must be tired. Let's go back to sleep. I'll stay right here. I promise I won't ever leave you. No, I don't want to sleep anymore. You're not feeling well. I can tell. You're exhausted. And you're seeing things that aren't real. Yeah, like you. I... I don't know what's wrong, but it's not me. It's this place. It's you, Wonkers. You're all wrong. That hurts my feelings, Zoe. Good. Because you're supposed to be a stuffed animal, and you're moving around, and you're alive, and that's not... Flowers. From Liv. Isn't Liv... Someone will be with you shortly. Dad and me in Casablanca. That's me in Cape Town. Graduation day, in front of Jammy Hall. 
I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second place, I think. Jama was so proud. <laughs> prouder than my dad, perhaps. Definitely prouder than me. Jardin de Roses. Home, sweet home for most of my tumultuous teenage years. Thanks for joining us. Things are generally going very well today. Wouldn't you say so, Mac? Incredibly well, Rika. We'll soon be out of jobs, the both of us. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't mind one bit, Marek. Following up on yesterday's heartwarming Watty Corp story, the company behind everyone's favorite dream machine has announced that customer satisfaction has reached an unprecedented 110%. Impressive, Rika, but who could argue the dreamer has changed everything? An end to war, an end to violence, an end to poverty. What are we doing here, Marek? We should be in dream time too. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Rika. You said it. Watty Corp has also announced that surplus profits from the dream machines will go to sponsoring free dreamers for children in need worldwide, giving them the opportunity to escape their dreary, pointless existence for a life of endless joy and happiness inside dream time. Outstanding. Just another reason why Watty Corp is our favorite corporation, Marek. And they're not even paying us to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, things are great. They are so, so good. Just trust us on that. Hola, sweetie. I hope these flowers will brighten your day. Love, live. That's cute. Thinking of you. I would hope so. Thinking of you. I would hope so. How do I get out of here? Mum, Dad, and me. That was when we moved to Casablanca. The Atlantic Ocean looks perfectly serene from here. When the megastorms aren't raging, of course, then not so much. Locked. All that beach and sunshine and I'm locked inside. This must go into the hospital hallway. It's locked. Why on earth would they lock a hospital room? That feels... unsafe. The call button should really be next to the bed. Although, I guess they weren't expecting me to wake up from my coma anytime soon. Being in a coma probably helps. Stop pushing that button. We won't get to you any quicker even if you keep pushing it. <laughs> Can I be let out of my room, please? Stop. Please stop. beach and sunshine and I'm locked inside you know if I was in this game and I was stuck in this room I would take like one of those seats or that block thing and then just like bust open the door and get out of here you don't sound right you're imagining things, Zoe. You're very, very tired. Sleeping will help you feel better. You should go back to sleep. I don't Just like Just for you. a little while. No. 
You don't sound right. You're imagining things, Zoe. Sleep in. No. Let me out. All nurses are currently busy. Get well. Please get wake better. Up Please wake up. I hope you recover. Don't die. Where's that book you borrowed? Come back to us. All our love. Where were these people before my coma? This must go into the hospital hallway. It's locked. Why on earth would they lock a hospital room? That feels unsafe. Why don't you go back to sleep, Zoe? You'll feel much better if you do. There's something very wrong about this, and if I go to sleep again... I've slept enough. The magic nurse summoning button. Good old Wonkers. For as long as I can remember, he's been there for me. Like a surrogate sibling and guardian. Best gift ever. But why don't you go back to sleep, Zoe? Something not quite right You'll about feel him. much better if you do. I can't put my finger on it, but he's not. Maybe Wonkers is right. Maybe I'll feel better if I take a nap. There's something very I've slept enough. How do I get out of here? thinking of you. I would hope so. You don't sound right. You're imagining th sleep. No. Thank for joining us. Things are generally going very locked. All that beach and sunshine and I'm locked inside. Fine, I'll go back to sleep. Why don't you go back to sleep? Maybe Wonkers is right. Maybe I'll feel better if I take a nap. Yeah, I, I can't leave. I've done everything in this room. I've talked to everything. I, I, I've rung the... I, I pressed the nurse button a million times. I've talked to the purple monkey a million times. I've done everything. Okay. This is the only way to proceed with the story. Wake up, Zoe. You must wake up. Are we back? Come on, Zoe, get up. This place isn't real. You need to get out. Was that April? April. There's something very wrong here. Not just the room itself, but... But what exactly? I can't put my finger on it. Unless I literally put my finger on it. I think I need to take a closer look at things. Cape Town University has the most beautiful views. I spent so many lazy afternoons with friends, sitting on jammy steps and looking out over the city. I remember feeling... Come to think of it, I don't remember much from that day. I was there. I was wearing a gown, but who else was there? Dad? Reza? And what was the ceremony like? I just can't remember. Weird. Uh, what just happened? I'm so happy to have Olivia Del Marco in my life. When was the last time I visited her shop? That was ages ago. Did it close down? I... I remember something about... Okay, that was not just in my head. Something's definitely going on. We always talked about going to Svalbard. 
such an incredible place. Five years together. Almost hard to believe. Things have been rocky between us from time to time. It's amazing that we... that we lasted this long. I remember we stayed at the... Uh, what was the name of that place again? And where was it? I don't... I don't remember any of it. Shit. Am I losing my mind, or is reality glitching? Something's wrong. The whole graduation thing, something's definitely wrong here. Now I'm officially freaked out. It's weird, but I remember nothing from the trip, aside from talking to Reza about it and this photo. We were there, and we've been together for five years, have, haven't we? No. No, this is wrong. This feels all wrong. Something happened to her, to live. Something terrible. Olivia, she's dead. I know it. I feel it. I didn't graduate. I dropped out. I mean, sometimes I wish I hadn't. But this is a false memory. What are you doing, Zoe? You shouldn't be on your feet. Come on. I'll tuck you in and read you a little story. Just like in the old days. We talked about going to Svalbard, but we never did. We broke up, and that trip, it never happened. You don't look well, Zoe. You're probably seeing things. Please lie down, just for a minute. I'll watch over you. I'll sing for you. Liv had an accident. She's dead. She never sent me a get well card. This isn't helping anyone, Zoe. You're just going to ruin everything. Please stop. Please go back to bed. Go back to sleep, Zoe. Liv didn't send this. It's not real. This isn't a real memory. I never graduated from Cape Town University. Those vitals aren't too bad. Stop pushing that button. We won't get to you any quicker, even if you keep pushing it. You don't sound right. You're imagining sleep? No. Casablanca is a great place. To... Maybe I'll go back to Cape Town. Jardin de Roses. Homes. Casablanca is a great place to grow up. Such an... In... That's been away a lot, traveling. But I remember that day. We had one of our dad and... Dad and me in Casablanca. No, this isn't really me anymore. Thinking of you, 
I would hope so. It's locked. Why on earth would they lock a hospital room? That feels... I spent my 21st birthday in a coma. That's just sad. Something's very, very wrong. I'm not going back to bed again. Thanks for joining us. Things are generally going very well today. Wouldn't you say so, Mac? Incredibly well, Rika. We'll soon be out of jobs for both of us. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't mind one bit, Marek. Locked. All that beach and sunshine and I'm locked inside. I didn't graduate. I dropped out. I mean, sometimes I wish I hadn't. But this is a false memory. I never graduated from Cape Town University. I didn't graduate. I dropped out. How? I mean, sometimes I wish I hadn't. But this is a false memory. Good old wonkers. For as long as I can remember, you don't sound right. You're imagining sleeping will help you feel better. No. There's something not quite right about him. I can't put my finger on it, but he's not... Not really wonkers. This must have been Sandy Bay. I remember this day vividly. That's me, in Cape Town. Karen's nice. She's been a good friend. It's a card from Karen. Karen's nice. She's been a good friend, and she makes great coffee. I'm irritated. Stop. Please Not stop. being in a coma probably helps. Something's very, very wrong. I'm not going back to bed again. <sighs> How do I... It's locked. Why on earth would they lock a hospital room? That feels... unsafe. Hey, a message from Emma. Oh, she finally opened her gallery in Europolis. Nice. I'll have to visit soon. Jama sent me something. Knowing her, it's probably a list of exercises to get me back in the gym. Oh, an invitation from CTU to come back and talk about my experiences. What experiences? How to not succeed after graduation? Avoiding bed sores? Also, the event was six months ago. Fantastic. My surprisingly large circle of acquaintances has been busy talking about me in my absence. Now that I'm awake, I probably won't hear from any of them ever again. Over 200 unread posts. So I was more popular in a coma than when I was awake. Encouraging. Get well, get better. Please wake up. I hope you recover. Don't die. Where's that book you borrowed? Come back to us. All our love. Where were these people before my coma? I spent my 21st birthday in a coma. That's just sad. Hey, a message from Emma. Oh, she finally opened her gallery in Europolis. Nice. I'll have to visit soon.
Mum and Dad were always moving when I was growing up. I remember falling in love with the place as soon as we got there. It had all these no there were so many hiding places. Me and and Mum. We played hide and seek all the time. When she came after me, she would stomp her feet and shout. What was it she'd say again? I I don't actually remember her voice that well. Or her face. Or that she was there with Dad and me. Mum was... She wasn't... Where was she? Helena was never part of our lives. It was just me and Dad. She abandoned us when I was an infant. Helena was never in a family photo. It's a false memory. Helena was never part of our lives. It was just me and Dad. She abandoned us when I was an infant. Oh my God, this isn't real. This place is a, a hallucination. Or a projection. I need to get out of here. Look what you've done. Why couldn't you just leave things be? We could be happy here together. The both of us. Forever. I need you to go back to sleep, Zoe. Now. Before it's too late. Before. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Why couldn't you just leave things be? We could be happy here together. The both of us. Forever. I need you to go back to sleep, Zoe. Something's wrong. This place and you. You're all wrong. You're not you. That doesn't make any sense, Zoe. Of course I'm me. I've always been me. Wonkers. Your old friend. Your best friend in the whole world. You look the same, but you don't act the same, and you don't sound the same. It's like... like someone put you together for memory, but they didn't get the details right. They didn't know you like I know you, and they probably figured it wouldn't matter. That's what's wrong with this whole place. It's made of memories, and some of them are not right. Europolis, Arcadia. I wasn't dreaming. They were real. This is the dream, or a dream made physical. I, me. I made this, and I can see through it. But I'm real, Zoe, aren't I? Of course you are, Wonkers. Of course you're real. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in so long. I'm here, sorry, here. Wonkers. Okay, then. Promise to wake me up later? I promise. Nighty night. I'll miss you too, buddy. What? The rag fell. <laughs> Three days ago?
Vic, stop that. It's not a toy. You could kill someone. Someone you don't want to kill. Send for a healer, you cretins! My legs are broken! What do we do with her? I haven't decided yet. We have enough on Sister Alessandra to hold a summary court martial and execute her. Or we send her to Sadia to stand trial. She'll face death. Or worse, a solitary life sentence in the black hole. To be honest, I think that decision should be yours. She's murdered thousands, and she believes she's righteous. Not our people must know the truth. Alessandra needs to stand trial for what she's done in Sadia. She must stand trial. But we don't know what's happening in Sadia. Someone may want to protect her, and we can't bring her with us to Mercuria. What if we leave her here? Leave her? Do you think that's a good idea, Kian? Her crimes are against magicals. Let them decide what to do with her. I can't imagine they'll show her any mercy. Oh, very well, Kian. We'll leave Sister Alessandra in the hands of her prisoners. May the goddess have mercy on her soul. Let me go, you fools. You're doing the shadows' work. Uh, uh, goddess. Uh, help me! Oh, it hurts! What now, Kian? We go back, and we end this. Can I count on your help? You can. Yet when I followed you here, I had no idea. I had my suspicions. I don't trust Vamon and Saya. They've been lying to us, and they're planning something. But I was blinded by faith and my trust in the Council. I followed you so that I could arrest you, kill you, if necessary. To have my eyes open this way. A veil's been lifted, all thanks to you. And the Dolmari, of course. Your man, Liko. I failed you. I failed our nation. And I'm sorry for that, Kian. For distrusting you. I should have known better. He should have known better than to brand me a traitor. But I understand why he made that mistake. I gave you reason to doubt me. I'm not so sure about that, Kian. I acted rashly and... General... Harmy. I forgive you. Huh. There's one thing I must know. Who told you that Liko and I had gone to Guillen? Mother Utana. Don't ask me how she knew. She has her sources. She urged me to follow you. She wanted you to see this with your own eyes. Perhaps so, but how would she know what I'd find here? She trusted me. Crow! Yes, although, if she already knew the truth, why did she say nothing? It wouldn't have been better to keep me in Mercurio and arrest Vamon and Sion? I'm sure she had her reasons, Harmy. Is your cloud ship ready to bring us back? The fastest ship in the fleet. We'll be there in less than three days. Enough time to lay plans along the way. I need your most trusted men to fight alongside the rebels against Vermont's troops. They will. There are fewer of us than there are of them, but we have the light on our side. We'll follow your command, Kian. To the first mountain, if it be so. What about the Dolmari? Liko? He's speaking to the prisoners. He'll accompany us. I'll send for him. Liko will expect his people to be brought back to Mercuria, or given free passage to wherever they want to go. I give you my word, as soon as the conflict has been resolved, We'll have to leave young Bip with his parents, or I'm sure he'll try to sneak on board our ship. Bip, time to go. <laughs> Bip, get over here. You little rascal. <laughs> Everything's ready for the ceremony, Your Excellency. The engineers have informed me that the engine is ready. Yeah. Whenever you wish to begin. My men have been posted around the city, ready to handle any unrest. Though I don't expect any. This being Reap Moon's Eve, most of the peasants will be too drunk to pay attention. Is there anything else you need, Prophet? Anna? You've done all I've asked. With the general away, there will be fewer distractions to worry about. The Office of Scientific Progress has proven itself a loyal servant to the Goddess. The support, Sadir, has been unwavering. 
I am pleased with your work. Thank you, Prophet. We live to serve the goddess. Where is the first? In her room, praying for the success of our mission. She did not want to overshadow this ceremony with her presence. Her humility makes her a worthy one of the six. You deserve all the glory tonight, sister. You, and the commander, of course. When I activate the engine, a new era will begin. We will shape this world according to the wishes of the goddess. Magic will finally be eradicated. The transition may cause fear and unrest for a time, but I trust you to handle this with authority and efficiency. Of course. I must prepare. When I am ready, I'll send word to you. You will have the privilege of telling the people of this city they're witnessing the birth of a new era. Hami has returned. With Kian. He's joined the Resistance. What? Who told you this? They've been trying to recruit my men. Some have turned, though most have not. Why didn't you inform the Prophet? And have him cast us from the top of the tower. We'll handle this. The Prophet will never know. Mother Utana and the First, they can't know either. They might interfere. Mother Utana you take already care knows. Of I will take care of the Resistance and Harmy. Once and for all. Soon it won't even matter. Tonight, once the engine is active. We take control, yes, I know. I, I just... We didn't need this. Not when we're so close. After all that we... Don't worry yourself, sire. Proceed as planned. Yes. Yes. Long ago, when I was a boy, Exploring the mountains close to my village. I met an old Dolmari man, herding his stone goats. Stone our two goats. people were officially at war, but there were still Dolmari tribes near our village and some trade between humans and magicals. The old man spoke with kindness, fed me dried fruits and goat's milk, and told me I had magic in me, just like his grandchildren. When I returned home and told my mother, she commanded me to never speak a word of this to my father. And then she leaned in and whispered something in my ear I'll always remember. Magic, she said, is a part of everything. Magic is in the wind and rain, the stones and the ocean. It's in me, my mother said. And it's in you. Your heart, your mind, your blood. We've been at war with magic for most of my life, but I've never forgot my mother's whispered words. And I've always felt it in me, felt that magic's a part of me. For decades, I've fought it, denied it, rejected it. Tonight, that fight ends and another begins. This is no longer a war between humans and magicals. This is a battle for the very soul of our world. If you will have me, if you accept us, we stand with you all. We fight at your side. Tonight, we put aside our differences, our history, our grievances, and we stand united as one. Humans and Magicals, Azadi and Northlanders. We are all Arcadians. Our eyes have been opened to the truth of what's being done to Magicals. The Prophet has deceived the Azadi people. The engine is a weapon aimed at us all. We don't yet know what this ceremony will bring, but if we don't act tonight in the face of death, we shall live to regret it tomorrow. General Hami will lead sorties against Vamon's men, force their surrender, and push through to the commander and sister sire. 
those who refuse to lay down their arms, we fight. As hard as it will be to strike at your own brothers, there's no other choice. Your goal is to apprehend Sire and Vamon, alive if possible, dead if necessary. You'll take your commands from the General. Any misgivings you may have must be put to rest now. I trust Hami with my life. And tonight, so shall you. Anik will lead a team to Coldstone to free Ulvik and the imprisoned rebels, along with Benrime Salmin, who risked her life aiding the resistance. The engine must be destroyed. We don't know what it's truly for or how it works, but the Prophet means to reshape the world using its powers. This isn't magic. It's something darker than sorcery. Something older and infinitely more dangerous. Let's stop it. Let's stop them all from destroying our world. From destroying magic. Let's do this in the memory of our absent comrades. Shepard, Bob who can see, there's been enough death. Come back alive. You've received your assignments. Prepare to move out. And when this night is over, let's all return here to watch the sun rise on a new Mercuria. You know what to do, Kian? Ferdows will shut down the engine from the control room near the green. In order to do that, he needs me inside the tower. You'll go alone? I've been inside before. It will be easier on my own. Anna and Enu will escort Ferdows and keep him safe. I wish we could fight side by side tonight, but your task is more important. And more perilous. You'll have the resistance by your side. I couldn't ask for better company. My men won't flinch from their duty. When they learned what was being done to the non-humans, and what the camps were for. I wish there was time to spread the truth further. But instead, we're forced to fight our own. We can only hope that most choose to surrender, rather than remain loyal to Vamon. I'm sure they will, once they find themselves facing you. Civil war is a terrible thing, Hami. Most men shy from it. I don't envy you your task tonight. We do what we must. Goddess protect you, Kian. If all goes well, we'll talk again soon. We shall. I'm gonna leave it here. Um. Oh, stretch. Um. That's not the one I wanted. I wanted that one. Uh. We should be about done with this game. Um. So. The fight's about to get begin, I guess. I really hope... Uh, what's her name? The m girl main character. I keep on forgetting her name. But I really hope she comes back to this land and, like, helps them in the end. Like, helps them fight or whatever. But I don't know. Because she says that this land is real. So, I don't know. Um. Up. Who is streaming right now? Nobody's streaming. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm um, going to end it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Um. I'll be streaming this again next week sometime. I don't know when, but yeah. Um, if you haven't seen uh, the first bit of it, it's on my YouTube. Same name and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like, well, subscribe from my YouTube, and... Alright guys, see you later. Bye-bye.